Hey everybody, welcome to the Cannabis Kitchen. Today we're going to be making gummy worms. Now to start, we're going to need two gummy worm molds. I got these off of Amazon. I'll put the link in the description if you want to do this identically to me. Now, I have two molds out, but this is only a recipe for one mold. Uh, the reason I have two is because sometimes this guy will fill up with our Jello mix, and it's nice to have an extra one here for overflow. Now, we're going to be infusing this with a cannabis-infused tincture that is very reduced and potent. It's 100 milligrams of THC per milliliter. We're looking for 20 milligrams of THC per worm. There's 20 worms per mold, and that means that we are going to need 400 milligrams of THC total per mold, or 4 milliliters of our infused tincture. To start, we're gonna pour just under a third of a cup of room temperature water into a microwave safe receptacle. And then we're gonna add a three ounce pack of flavored gelatin, a one ounce package of unflavored gelatin, about half of a tablespoon of citric acid. Then we're gonna spin everything up until it's nice and smooth, at which point we are going to throw it into the microwave for 30 seconds. Then we're gonna pull it out, spin it up a little bit again, and then it's time to add our cannabis infused tincture. Now remember, we're adding four milliliters of tincture, which means that we should end up with about 400 milligrams of THC in the mix. Then we're gonna spin everything up again and throw it into the microwave one more time for about 10 to 15 seconds. If you see that it's starting to bubble up, then definitely pull it out right away. And then these molds, if you get them, do come with droppers, but they're much smaller. And if you don't like them as much as I don't like them, then get you a baster, pull it out, and fill up your molds with your mix. Now we're gonna very carefully, because this can get really messy really fast, transfer these to the refrigerator for about 20 minutes to let them set. Now that our 20 minutes has gone by, we're gonna pull these gummies out and we're gonna see that they've solidified. They're still a little sticky to the touch, but that's okay. Honestly, if you pull one of these out and you give it a squeeze, then it's still just gonna feel like jello at this point and not like a gummy. And the reason for that is because it's still full of water. So we need to get that out of there. And we're gonna do that by dehydrating. Dehydrating it will also cast a spell over the gummies that will make for a longer shelf life. And when you pull it out and you give it one more squeeze, it's gonna feel like an actual gummy that you bought from the store. Now into the dehydrator for eight hours at 115. And now after our eight hours up, you see we have dehydrated gummies and it's time to get them into this container and toss them in our performance enhancing powder mix. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take five tablespoons of powdered sugar and two tablespoons of citric acid. Then we're gonna get all of our gummies out of our mold, throw them in the container, and then put the lid on top and shake it really well until everything is covered in that powder mix. And then we're gonna pull apart anything that might've stuck together in the process, pour it into a strainer that is over the top of the bowl. Then we're gonna lightly tap the side just to get any of the excess mix off of the gummies. Now what this powder mix is doing is the powdered sugar is keeping everything from sticking together while the citric acid along with the citric acid inside of the gummy mix is going to help preserve the gummies and it's also going to make them nice and sour. And there we go, we're all done, we're coated. All you have to do now is throw these bad boys in the fridge and enjoy. All right, everybody, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. And again, this is just like a super simple, easy gummy recipe. Uh, we'll probably mess around with a little bit more complicated, more involved gummy recipes down the road. But uh, I know everybody likes gummies. They're a huge craze right now. So this is just a simple way to get some gummies into your life. And um, you know, you don't really even need a dehydrator. You can eat them just out of the fridge. Uh, but I, they don't keep nearly as long as with the dehydrator. Uh, you can also, like, if your gummy mold is small enough, you could use, like, and your toaster oven is big enough, but you could use a toaster oven at a really low setting to uh, dehydrate them. It's just, you know, keep an eye on them over the course of time. And then, yeah, if you want to know more about the math, then definitely go to thecannabiskitchen.net, go to the dosage page, and then fill out the form on that page and you will receive your free ebook copy of the Cannabis Kitchen's Helpful Friendly Dosage Book. And that will give you a bunch of example problems on how to solve any issues that you have infusing a recipe at your house with cannabis. And you can also use that as a reference to figure out how to adjust the potency on this recipe if you want to make something stronger or weaker than me. Uh, and other than that, that's all I got, guys. Thank you all so much for watching, and uh, you're the best. We'll see you next time.